So last week we were on the podcast and somebody had asked you about the awards that you had received this year. Oh, so we did a video um, on your channel. It was, was it? when we bought our house. It was during the summer because we went up to New Jersey. It was May. We had bought at the Airbnb. So for those that don't know, I was a police officer in a former life um, back when I was I got out of college and became a, a cop. That's what I wanted to do. I went to, I went to college to be a cop. Got that criminal justice degree to be a cop, which really didn't serve much purpose. Kind of useless when you're not. <laughs> yeah, because then if you don't become a cop anymore, then you have this degree that's not really that useful. But uh, so yeah, so I became a cop. Um, I've done videos on my channel talking about that I retired in 2017, um, and so we'll kind of fast forward and get into the the awards that I had just received this year and some that I got recently. But um, it's a funny story. So I remember like when I was a kid. I was probably, I don't know, maybe like somewhere between like six years old, seven, eight, maybe. Um, I don't really remember how old I was. I know I was old enough to remember it, but young enough that I didn't really comprehend a lot of it. So I had, um, and Kristen knows them, but we had um, an older couple that lived down the street from me that were, they were raised as like, kind of like that third set of grandparents. They weren't related. They were just very close neighbor family friends and they became like that third set of grandparents um and so i grew up with them they used to babysit me all that kind of stuff so i remember being at their house once and it's one of those stories that like it kind of just happened i put it in the back of my head and never really thought much about it again i really talked about it because it wasn't really that big of a deal but it's something that like you know you have those memories as a kid that kind of stick out in your head um so i remember being at their house and a package came in the mail. And so like back then when I was like six years old, you didn't get a lot of packages. It's not like Amazon yeah, Prime. I was going to say I there's get, no like, Amazon. I get like 18 Amazon Prime packages a day. So back in the day when you got like a package to your house, it was a big deal. Like it was like, like who mailed you something? So I remember being at his house and like, I don't know, maybe FedEx or somebody came, the mailman came and dropped off a package. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm being nosy as a little kid. I was like, you got a package. And so he briefly opened this package. And inside of it, I don't know any story behind it, but I remember he opened it up and they were these World War II medals. And so I don't really, I don't know what they were for like, or really why he got them. But I remember seeing them as a little kid. I remember like, I was like, wow, these were like things you'd see in a movie, like the, the ones that you hang on your like lapels and on your shirt in the military. So I remember seeing them. I was like, wow, these are really cool. Like asking them, like, what, what are they? And, uh. I didn't realize this was going to do this to you. Yeah, I didn't either. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> all right. So, um, I guess hair. I guess it makes <laughs> yeah. dog hairs in my eye. <laughs> no sunscreen. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I guess it makes more sense now um, that I'm older. But you know, as a little kid, I was like, "What? What are these these medals? Uh, like, wh what are they?" And I remember he just like. Uh, Talk about some ready for this. <clears throat> All right, scene two, take two. Should have probably had water instead of wine. I didn't even expect this. Um, so anyway, he uh, quickly shut the box, put them away, refused to talk about it. Which, as a little kid, I thought was kind of rude and mean. And then. Uh, so fast forward, I don't know, say 15 years later when I want to be a cop, I wanted to, you know, you want to, when you get a job, you want to do good at your job. And, uh, I was always like, wow, I want to get like, I want to get like medals. This is harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, so anyway, when, when you become a cop or I think at any job that you get, you want to be good at your job. You want to get accolades, you want to get rewarded, uh, you want to get noticed, promoted, whatever the case may be. So that's kind of the thing that happens when you become a cop. You're like, oh, I want to get, you know, I want to get awards. You see cops, they wear all the, the jewelry, the bands, the ribbons, whatever the case may be over their career. They get all the hash marks on their sleeves, all this stuff. And in, in, in the beginning of your career, you're like, wow, that's really cool. I want that. But you don't realize like what goes into getting those awards. So when I retired in 2015, before I officially, I, I my official um, 
retirement date was February 2017. So in 2016, while I was on administrative leave waiting for my retirement, I got an award for um, the New Jersey State um, New Jersey State Police PBA. It was the um, is that the Valor Award? Yeah, the uh, Medal of Valor. Um, it was the Silver Medal of Valor, which is, I believe, I was told, I don't, I mean, obviously I didn't really look into it, but I was told it was like the second highest award. I think there's a gold medal of valor and I got the silver medal of valor. Um, and then, so I had that award and then this year, so what we were talking about at the beginning of this video in May, I received the award. Um, I, I got three of them, um, for the, for the same, um, situation, but so it was the, the three awards that I got were from my department. They had a, an award ceremony and it was the, um, uh, Legion of Honor, the Combat Cross, and the um, Medal of Honor. So those were the three that I got this year. So now, to Quentin Tarantino, this whole story, and wrap this thing all back up. Um, so now that I look back at that, that uh, story that I, I started telling at the beginning of the, the video, it makes sense now why he acted the way he did when he got his awards. Because it's like... You work hard to get these awards and they're not for the best circumstances, the best situation, scenarios, whatever it may be. Um, and they're not something that like you can brag about. They're not something that you can hang on the wall. I mean, I guess you could, um, but typically it's you, you get them for situations that you don't want to have to like. Remember. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. To go through again. So. You don't want to talk about the situation, which makes sense for Uncle Ben. Right. So I'll try to finish this up real quick. Ooh, we turn the heat on in here. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the point of this is, you know, you have these awards, but they're all, I think one of them's in my safe. Probably the medals and stuff are in the safe, the actual plaques and stuff that I got. Those, I, I, they might even be under a bed. I'm not sure even, honestly, like where they are. Which is crazy. <sighs> uh, I didn't realize this would be as awkward uh, as it is. I didn't either. Yeah, so, um, uh, so the point of it is, you work hard to get these things. And then in hindsight, when you do get them, sometimes you're like, was the juice worth the squeeze? You know, like, it's one of those things that you want to be like, like proud of. This is going to be a pain in the ass to edit. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Um, so anyway, that's the long answer, the hard answer. So that's usually one of those things that like when people ask about, hey, talk about the awards that you got. Sometimes it's a lot harder to answer um, than you realize. So, so right. hopefully that message comes across as it would have in my mind. I know trying to articulate something like that is, is harder than it seems, but. I didn't realize that. The awards, not that I didn't realize that they meant so much to you because I knew that they did, but I didn't realize I'd never heard that backstory before. And I guess it would make sense not to have heard it because it was something you had buried. Yeah. For all those years. But now in some, sen some sense of it, you share something with him. Yeah. Not necessarily... <laughs> Again, something you want to rehash, but it's still something that you guys have together. And you both made it home. Yeah. Which, in the grand scheme of things, is what your family wants out of everything. So the awards aren't what's as attractive to me as your wife, but the fact that you came home to me and right. I still have you is what's important to me. Yeah, so that's the... Uh... That's the longer extended version of that answer. But usually the easy answer is like, oh, I'll tell you about that later. And then I just <laughs> brush it off. So. Well, I can understand why you didn't go into detail <laughs> the other night. Yeah. 